How are you doing today? An important new study led by UC Davis Health and the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston aims to predict who is most at risk for dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Researchers will look at data from brain scans, genetics, and other key biomarkers and create a kind of scorecard. And so today I wanted to ask you some questions about your health background and also how you feel your memory is doing. Putting these very different pieces of information together our ultimate goal is to really come up with a risk profile. So you walk into your doctor's office, you get an examination, you get an MRI test, you get a blood test, and then hopefully the consequence of this study is we will be able to predict how your brain's going to do in four to six years later. The study is called Diverse Vascular Contributions to Cognitive Impairment and Dementia, or Diverse VCID for short. The results could affect millions. Among people 65 and older, about one in nine has Alzheimer's disease. Black Americans are about twice as likely as whites to have dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Hispanics are about one and a half times as likely. So the study will look at diverse populations. If you if only enroll a certain group of society, then we can't make generalization to the entire group. And so that then becomes uh, a problem. And so hopefully we can be inclusive of a lot of people and have a, a broader picture and a broader understanding of, of the disease for everybody. Jennifer, this oh, is Mrs. Hi, Lopez. How are you? Nice to meet you. Antonia Lopez had a career in early childhood education before retiring. She's one of the study's participants. My mother had Alzheimer's. She died at 96. We knew there was something wrong. We knew there was a term called Alzheimer's. We didn't know the difference between that and normal aging. She motivated me. I hope that my participation will add to the knowledge and make a difference for the next generation. Wonderful. Sounds very good. As part of the study, the researchers will be looking at what are called white matter hyperintensities in the brain. Among people over age 82, more than 90 percent have these spots. Scientists know white matter hyperintensities are associated with dementia, but they don't know why. The purpose of this is to ask that, the question, do those white spots convey meaningful information about the person's future? The study is funded by a nearly $54 million grant from the National Institutes of Health. It will go for six years at 13 different locations in the U.S. I am most grateful to each and every participant who takes the time out of their life to contribute to this research. It is so important. I've dedicated my career to it, and I believe that we can make a difference. To learn more, visit the study's website at diversevcid.ucdavis.edu.